we're here at the mount this morning we want to say happy new year's 2023 facebook live tweet or wherever you may be this morning or we invite you to the mount here's 708 Northside drive east dublin georgia where the pastor is none other than apostle wj Inman senior first lady Cheryl Inman. you are not only welcome to come through the doors here at east side drive but you're welcome on the mobile line on Tuesdays, tell it all Tuesday, Wednesday, ask the apostle, and anytime the doors are open, we ask you to come on in, sing your song, testify, shout, whatever to the glory of God, we ask you to come. So this morning I say to you, Happy New Year, 2023 from the Mount, you are welcome, welcome, welcome. My Lord getting us ready for that great day. My Lord getting us ready for that great day. Oh, my Lord getting us ready. Great day. Who shall be able to stand? Oh, my God getting us ready for that great day. Oh, my God getting us ready for that I said, my God, getting us ready for that great day. Oh, who shall be able to stand? Oh, my God, getting us ready for that day. Oh, my God, getting us ready for that day. I said, my God, getting us ready for that great day. Oh, who shall be able I said, my God, get us ready for that. Oh, who shall be able to stand? Oh, liars will be running in that. Oh, liars will be running in that. I said, liars will be running in that. Yes. 
soul not anchored in Jesus, you will surely drift away. Can we open this part of the service up for testimony service? If somebody desire to tell the goodness of Jesus on this New Year's, you may do so at this time and sing your song. Do we have a witness to the Lord? Anybody want to tell of his goodness? Hallelujah. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor and he he up all of my prescription. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room. In my room. Yeah, in my room. Oh, come on. 
room. Heal my body. In my room. In my room. Heal my body. In my room. In my room. Wait. 
All right, come on. You are let go, and let God have his way. You are let go, let God have his way. Come on. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's time to let go. It's time to let go. And let God, let God. have his way. Have his way. Come on, say again. Say, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Look up and say, Lord. Lord. I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. To let everything go. Somebody oh. say yeah! Say yeah! 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 Woo! Let it go! Yes, sir! Let it go! Let it go! Let it go! Hallelujah! Kind Father, God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, how us behind the cross don't let the people see us. Lord said that word, somebody need a word, somebody contemplating different things, but set it with power, clarity, understanding. Father, we thank you now. Thank you for the archangel, Michael, that's here on the assignment. Thank you, God, for your amen, glory to God. Thank you for, amen, Raphael, we need your help. Have your way, have your way. Somebody throw their hands up and say, Lord, have your way. Oh, that wasn't the one said, Lord. Have your way. Tell him, say, not my will. Whoa. But let your will be done. Tell him, say, Lord, Lord, I'm in your hands. I'm in your hands. Tell him, I'm in your hands, Lord. I'm in your hands. How many mean that? How many really mean that? How many mean it? Lord, I'm in your hands. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. God bless your Facebook. Hands. Amen. Praise God. YouTube, Africa. God bless you. Amen. Praise God. We appreciate the Lord. Amen. Praise God for a new year. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I keep telling them I'm 65, but I'm still alive. Amen. Thank God for amen. I praise service. Amen. Listen, let's, we want to come out in 23 doing everything double more for the Lord. We're going to do more for the Lord we did in 22. Amen. Praise God. We're going to make an impact and let the devil know that we mean business. Amen. Praise God. Those got a Bible quicker. We're not going to trouble you. Amen. Glory to God. What a wonderful uh, uh, service uh, last night. Amen. Praise God. But we're back here. Amen. Back on assignment. My God for the master. Amen. Out of the book of Job, just for a little while, out of the book of Job. Amen. One of the poetic books. The poetry books, they call them, Psalms, amen, glory to God, Job, glory to God, Proverbs, amen, amen, glory to God. We're going to look at Job. We know the story of Job, how things happen to Job, glory to God, amen, praise God. Job 42, if you would, please. Job, the book of Job, chapter 42, uh, Bible, verse number one, just a few scriptures, Amen. There may be a few even complicated words in there, but amen. Praise God. We know you got it. Job 42 and 1. Amen, Bible. Then Job answered the Lord and said. What did he say? I know that thou canst do everything. Did you hear that? Come on. And that no thought can be withholden from thee. Read. Who is he that hideth counsel without knowledge? Uh. Therefore... Have I uttered that I understand not? Come on, Bible. Things too wonderful for me, which I knew not. Job repenting, come on. Here I beseech thee, and I will speak. 
I will demand of thee, and declare thou unto me. I have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear. Uh -huh. But now mine eye seeth thee. Verse 6. Wherefore I abhor myself, and repent in dust and ashes. God bless you. You may be seated. Do you see here, amen, Job, just taking you back, amen, well, we're going to see in this lesson what Job did, amen, when the devil confronted, amen, about Job's righteousness. Most perfect man in the east, not robotic, but, amen, adhering to the Ten Commandments. Loving the Lord that God with all the heart, mind, soul, and body. And secondly, now your neighbor as yourself. The devil got mad when you do those two things. Amen. It seems simple, amen, too, but it seems complicated to a lot. Amen. But, but if you find yourself doing these things, amen, then you're going to have some opposition against the devil. Amen. Amen. In behalf of the Lord. Some things we doing, amen, we did it. But then when you're operating under the unction of the Holy Ghost, then God get the glory. Question one, do you want the devil to get the glory out of your life or God? God, I feel preaching power coming. I don't know about you, but amen, I ain't been in 65 years, amen, just to, amen, to play games. Tap somebody, tell them, say the games are over. In 23, ain't no more games. God is started in the pulpit. Judgment must first begin in the house of God, and that's in the pulpit. Folks, amen, that, that, that leaders that did things in 22, glory to God that God didn't like, amen, God is going to expose it in 23. He got tired of Saul, amen, praise God, glory to God, when the prophet told him, amen, kill everything in the Amalekite. Amen. But he did it his way. It's not your way in 23. We got to do it pinpointly. Line upon line, precept upon precept. We got to do things just like God said. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Can I, can I really, can I come back in and set the atmosphere? Amen. Appreciate y'all so much. Amen. Bible, take me to verse 7 to set the atmosphere to help the class here. And it was so it was so that after the Lord had spoken these words unto Job, listen, the Lord said unto Eliphaz the Temanite, Come on, my wrath is kindled against thee. Wait a minute, you see that? Now, now, now just for a little history, these are the three friends now, Brother George, that showed up earlier when, when Job was going through when the when the devil had said, You got a hedge riding. Who won't serve you? Take everything, amen. Let me touch him, amen, and, and he'll curse you to your face. God said, I like a challenge. We have a challenge in God. Glory to God. He said, well, you can do all of that. God help me. But but the soul, God help me, belongs to, amen. You can't touch that. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So here, amen, when they showed up they, they, for, for several days, prophet, they didn't know what to say. Have you ever been to ICU or? CC you and, and, and look at the condition of people. Some folks say they, they may be in a comatose state, but they still can hear good. They may say the hearing is the last thing. I don't know if it is not, but some of you nurses, folks in the, in the medical field, you know, you, you know the simplicity of that. Amen. Praise God. So you at the ICU, amen, you, you, you don't go in there talking doubt, do you? Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. You go in there, but, the, but what you see, the appearance, amen, with all the instruments and different things that are hooked up, amen, to keep that person stabilized or keep them alive, amen. So when they showed up to Joe, he was in that type of shape. Boys, souls all over him that heard that his, he had lost everything. Amen. It's cheering. Glory to God. All this wealth, most wealthiest man in the east. Amen. And then even his wife told him the devil got in her. The devil don't care who he used. And told her, curse God and die. But 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 he had enough discernment. My God, can you can you can you look into the spiritual world? These natural things you see would would, would confuse you. 
amen, glory to God, and cause you to stray from God. You can't listen to everything what people say to you. Amen. They'll tell a lie at the drop of a dime, especially if the devil using them. The devil got to use people. Ah, shabashi. My God. And, and, and David said, it wasn't my enemies. Uh, amen. It, it's somebody real close to you. Amen. You got to watch everything now. You got to be alert. A amen. Praise God. You, you got to be on high alert. Amen. Praise God. Because you don't know how the devil coming. Amen. If, if the devil know, amen, that, that you're, you're, you're bound for success, if the devil know that, you, that you're going to be somebody going to destroy him, he's going to try to take you out before you take him out. By any means necessary, he'll care who he use. Lord have mercy. It's very wise. Told him, curse God. He don't get no closer than that. And then die. Amen. But he didn't do it, did he? Have a go, have a go one of his friends now. That sat there several days, didn't know what to say. Look what's happening. Come on, Bible. My wrath is kindled against thee. Now, my wrath against you. God tell him that. And against thy two friends. Come on. For ye have not spoken of me the thing that is right. As my servant Job had. You see that? A amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Job, Job amen, didn't curse God. He cursed the day we were born. Amen. And, and probably even said some things within his mind. Lord, why am I in this predicament? Job know he had sinned. Why am I in this situation? Who am I preaching to? If you have a sin and did anything, amen, wrong, why are you complaining because folk don't like you? Why are you complaining now that you're hearing, amen, things coming back to you? See, see, that's a good way that the devil, see, a lot of folk can't stand to hear nothing bad about them. Instead of them praying, they run the folks there. Amen. I learned that long ago. Amen. Praise God. I, 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 amen. Sometime, amen, somebody will call somebody's name. I will be sitting there, and they will pick the phone right then and, and react to what that person said. The Lord said, don't do that now. Don't do that in my seat. Boom. I, I learned. Come on. You got to learn as you go. Better pick up. A, you ever, every dime you see, you better try to pick it up. Every nickel go with the guy. And I, I thank God I did do that because, and I listened to the Holy Ghost because it's paying off for me now. Read. Therefore, Ver, verse 8. Mm -hmm. Therefore, take unto you now seven bullocks and seven rams. All right, stay with me quickly and listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen. Come on. And go to my servant Job. Wait, hold, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Wait. Now, Take the bullets and go to where? My servant, Job. Why, why not to the priest? Let me let's this a little bit. That married that. Read on, Bible. Help this class. Messes! Come on. And offer up for yourselves a burnt offering. Uh-huh. And my servant, Job, shall pray for you. Ho! Oh, pump your brakes! Pump your brakes. He kabash. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. When you are righteous people, God ain't going to bypass them. Glory to God in Acts the 10th chapter. Amen. Uh, uh, glory to God when Cornelius was a devout man. He wasn't saved, but he was good. He didn't have the Holy Ghost yet, but he got it later on. And he, and, he, and he told him your memorials, your arms, and your sacrifice have come up before me as a memorial. But go send to Joppa and inquire of Peter, uh, in Joppa one surname, Peter. Because he lodges there. Amen. Amen. The, God could have told Cornelius what to do, but he didn't bypass Amen, Peter. Amen, the chief apostle. Come on. Amen, one of the apostles. God ain't going to bypass you if you're living right. I don't know who that's for. Come on, talk to me. Look, what, look what's happening in this story. Read. And my servant Job shall pray for you. And Job going to pray for you. Not the priest. Job, read. For him will I accept. Wait a minute. God, Jesus. I'm not going to accept you. Not unless you get a sacrifice or a seed in your hand and go to Job 
and let him pray for you. Are you reading it? Maybe the, the, the Bible right and everybody wrong. Read the Bible. For him I will accept. I'm going to accept him. Lest I deal with you after your folly. After your folly, read Bible. In that ye have not spoken of me the thing which is right, like my servant Job. So Eliphaz the Temanite uh -huh. and Bildad the Shuhite and Zophar the Nethamite, Nethahite went and did according as the Lord commanded them and the Lord also accepted Job. Now, now what, what? Job got healed. Let me stay right there. The supernatural manifestation of healing. The boils, everything left him. He had did nothing wrong. It was just for a sign. But, 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 amen, glory to God. Even when he, when he if you think you offended your brother, what the Bible say? Go to him. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Uncut the strings. Cut everything loose. Lord, I feel preaching power on me. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Job, even with the thoughts, Lord, why this happened to me? I haven't did anything wrong. I've tried to live right. Those thoughts, they will even get you in trouble. Because it's somewhat of a complaining. What we need to be saying is, Lord, have your way. Not my will, Lord. But let your will be done. Otherwise, Lord, I trust the process. I trust what you're doing. I can't see it. I don't understand what you're doing. I don't understand why this happened to me because I know he did that wrong. But, Lord, I trust you. Do you trust the Lord? God Almighty, glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A amen. Amen. Just a side note. The conditions are conducive for a miracle to happen. The conditions there was conducive. And a miracle did happen. Job got healed. Instantaneously. Boom. Everything dried up. A miracle is simultaneously. It happens right then. God is in the miracle working business. Who am I preaching to? He's in the healing business. He's in the financial business. God is in, can do all things. I can do all things. Through Christ Jesus, that do what? God Almighty, glory to God. I didn't get my mind signed that thing earlier, did I? Amen. I'm going to come back somewhere there and pick it up. A -a Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So the conditions were conducive. And a miracle happened. Question one, are you ready? Do you know how to pass God's test? Do you know how to pass God's test? Let me take a little subject. I better, I better stop there. Can I pop my brakes and take a subject? Look at the names of the neighbor. After the test, then the best. Look at somebody say, it's after the test, then you get the best. What am I saying? Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Uh, a, the, the test demands unwavering faith in the word. Whatever test you're in, it's going to demand unwavering faith. Not double-minded faith. Not wishy-washy faith. you hot hot today, you're cold tomorrow. You're living right three days and four, in the next four days, you're living like hell. No! You got to live right every day. It's kind of preaching devil don't like. Huh, go with the God. Everybody got to live right. I don't care what your tile is. We got to live right, folks preaching. That's why, amen, the clergy, and tell them I said it, amen, are in trouble with God now. Amen, they ain't living nothing, but they're trying to tell folks how to live. They tell, tell folks how to give. They ain't giving no money. Amen, to God, they ain't sending up no, ain't nothing smell good in God's nostrils, amen, for years. But but they'll preach to others. Paul said, amen, I don't want to be, a, I want to preach to others and then turn around and be a castaway. I, I don't want my living to be in like vain. I, my God, when, when you see apostle glory to God, amen, praise God, you may not like me, you may not even understand me, but one thing about it, amen, you can say, I know he's saved. I know he's sanctified. I know he got the Holy Ghost and he's five baptized and on my way to heaven. You may not like anything else. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, my shot. He shot. 
God Almighty said, I, I, I ain't got but one wife and don't want nobody else. I ain't gonna get no help in that place. Yeah, it make that clear now. The devil is a lie. Amen. The, the, I, I, and my pastor told me, say, son, if you keep your hands off the women and, and, and just keep your hands on your money, I give you anything you want, need, or desire. I said, Lord, I thank you. Come on. I heard that from Mike Minos. And I believe that. Amen. Praise God. Because I see how he operated. Amen. Praise God. God bless you. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Uh, you know, that, that's the bottom line. Your faith got to be unwavering. How can you hear without a preacher? In 23, how can they preach this and be sent? God is in the fiery business. They ain't going to like what I'm saying. He found folks in 23 in the pulpit. You're going to see it. God been warning folks. See, amen, when you see folks, amen, something happened to them, God been talking to them. But they wouldn't listen. But the last final scroll, God going to release that prophet, amen, glory to God to come to you and warn you. And if you don't listen, then he, he, he's, he's your last hope. He's, a, he's the last hope, that apostle, that prophet, that's your last hope. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. So, so when something detrimental happens, amen, you, you can't blame God because God warns you. And, 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 and when the advantage comes, some advantageous, God going to warn you and say, I'm getting ready to bless you. Hope, help us on the way. I'm getting ready to get you out of debt. You'll start hearing that. Then when you start hearing that, then you start, you got to put some legs on your faith. If you want to come out of debt, you got to start doing something. Lord, bring me out of debt. What you doing? Are you paying your bills on time? What are you doing? How you going to get out of debt you ain't paying your bills? Somebody talk to me in this place. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Lord Jesus. God ain't coming down and pay. God going to give you the resources, but when he give you the money, do you take the money and go pay your bill? Or do you go to Walmart? Oh, somebody. Oh, oh, yeah. I shift somebody then. I ain't telling you, boss, I'm going to Walmart. Well, it's all right to go to Walmart. Make sure your light bill paid. Because these folk will put you in the dark. I, 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 come on, talk to me. That's the bottom line. Ask the neighbor, do you really believe Jesus' word or not? Ask somebody, just look at somebody, say, do you really believe Jesus' word? Do you believe that God is able to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory? Do you believe that? I got one, two amens. Let me look over here. Do y'all believe that? That he's able to supply. Glory to God. You ain't got to go to the devil. You ain't got to go to the devil's level. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you. You got to have nobody tapping on your windows. Amen. Glory to God. Knock it on the side door. You don't got, ah, you don't need no side, man. You don't need no side. All the thing you need is J-E-S-U-S. Somebody. Amen. It's after the test. Then you get the best. It's after the test. Then you get the very best. Uh, oh, Lord, I feel something. I feel something running through me. Amen. Go with the guy. There's three things that help you pass the test. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you, Ella. Amen. It, uh, and it's simple things, but for some it seems hard. One is read. Number two is study. And the other is memorize. Read, study, memorize. That simply comes out of First Timothy, Second Timothy 2 and 15. Was that right? Uh, uh, when the last thing you read your Bible? Oh, Jesus, God. Hey, tell your body. I, I, I know that devil. I, I, come on. Glory to God. You, you got to read that Bible. Oh, you going to eat breakfast, ain't you? Look at you. Glory to God. You going to McDonald's. I ain't telling you, Pastor. I'm going to get me some breakfast. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't forget about Jesus. Amen. You got to read about him. Come on, talk to me. Amen. Praise God. You got to study that word. Glory to God. That's why we, when folks say, well, I need two days, I need three days, well, you ain't, must, ain't, must ain't no word in you. When you tell me that, that you telling me ain't no word in you. 
I preach y'all to have a sermon 24 7. You know I'm gonna get a silent pill on your back when I hear stuff, when I hear preachers talking like that. Especially if they're an elder or above. Come on. If you're a missionary, amen, and say that maybe or minister, maybe, maybe, just maybe. Anything above that, you ought to be ready to preach at, at the drop of a dime. Lord to God, thank you, Lord Jesus. See, if you're going to study, I'll get you back in the Word. Because I'll keep preaching to you and telling you, you need a word. Don't get caught, my God, without a word in your mouth. How you letting the devil catch you with a word not in your mouth? Isaiah 50. Amen. Glory to God. Glory, thank you, Lord Jesus. A amen. I, 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 he, he told him, say, amen. Glory to God. I, I, want, I want to ask to learn. I, I, want to, I want to speak a word in season to him that is weary. Come on, talk to me. You ought to have a word to speak in season. I'll say somebody's going through, somebody depressed, somebody oppressed. You ought to go, and if you've been reading, if you've been studying, amen, and, and, and really memorizing what the Holy Ghost is going to give you back what to say. If you read the Bible on a constant, uh, uh, constantly, amen, when it's time for you to open your mouth, amen, it's going to be so much word in you, it'll just come out like a computer. You may not understand or you remember that scripture, but at the appointed time, when God using you as a ram in the bush, as a pastor on the street, as an evangelist, my God, glory to God, in your family reunion, amen, God going to give you what to say. I come with instructions in 23 to tell you it's after the test. Then you get the best. Uh, Bible, read a few more verses for me. Uh, Job. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Job uh, 2 and 10. Let me, let me help you out. Job 2 and 10. Do a, little, do a little running with me. Run with me a little bit. Job 2 and 10. Everybody get the Bible. I got two scriptures I want to drop to you in Job. Amen. Job 2 and 10. But he said unto her. What, what did he say? Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. Uh-huh. What? Shall we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? In all this did not Job sin with his lips. Wait a minute. All he went through, the Bible say he didn't sin. It, come on. He didn't curse God. A lot of folks would have. A lot of folks complain about anything. This man got boils all over him. And the Bible say he didn't sin with his lips. Hello, somebody. Run with me. Amen. Why are we on the run? To Job 42. Let's go back. Let's come back home. Job 42 and 10. Amen. Let, let me take you down further in, 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 into the, to the river. Can we go on down? Job 42 and 10. Thank you, sir. 42 and 10. Read, Bible. This and, one scripture. Read. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. Wait a minute. Back up and get the back, the back end of, 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 of uh, 9 again. Okay. Accordingly. And did accordingly as the Lord commanded them, and the Lord also accepted Job. Job got healed. He got a miracle right then. Come on with 10 to help the class. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Wait a minute. See, see that? When he began to pray, everything Job was going through diminished. The test was over. He passed the test. Question 200 today. Have you passed the test? Well, can. I, I like that, Ella. Let me change that. Let me shift that. I'm, gonna shift, I'm, going, I'm with you. Can you now? That was a good. That was good. That was good. Can you pass the test? Woo. We everybody in a test. Probably this, we're all in something. Something going. I don't care what your title is. It, it's something you're praying about. I'm praying about everything. But the question, number one question is, 
Can you pass the test? Can you do what Job did? If Job did it, why we can't do it? God ain't no respect the person. Come on, talk to me. These are just examples in the Bible to let us know that we can. The Bible said Job 2 and 10, he didn't even sin with his lips with all he went through. Sin didn't fall on his lips. Now we'll look what God fit to do. Read Bible. Also, also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Boom! Somebody scream, double! Look at somebody say, I want my double! I'm in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong house. Uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm in the wrong house. I want my double! Somebody say, double! And do your own life for your trouble! And this seed of God giving us double for what we're going through. You ain't got to sin with your lips. Glory to God, take it. Just open it. What the Lord say? Go through the test. It's after the test. We know now. The text heals. It's after the test. Then we get to bed. Now you see the Bible. After Job prayed for his friends, he got healed. He got a miracle. Then God turned around and said, well, everything was taken from you. Missionary will come. I'm just not going to give it back to you. I'm going to double it. To let the people know you belong to me. To let the three friends know you mine. God got folks going to serve him. God got people, amen, that ain't, ain't going to sin with their lips. God got folks, amen, don't go through the test not complaining. Not something, and he didn't do anything wrong. But he suffered immensely. He suffered a lot. But now, uh, he coming out with double. Oh, good God Almighty. Can you if you was in Job's shoe, I, I, I believe it, I believe his, his feet say, don't fail me now. I don't think Job even needed no music. Hey, Amen. He didn't, did he need no music, prophet? He didn't need no music. My God, something got in his feet. God help me preach. Something. Down on the inside, begin to work on the outside. I, I can hear still voice and Job will say, get up, Job, and give me the praise. If there anybody ready to praise God in 23, Lord to God, it's out to your task. But while you're in the task, shout, 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 shout. We should have some help up in here. It's time to shout. It's time to praise him. It's time. Glory to God. It's time. Look at the neighbor. Tell that neighbor, neighbor. I'm going through this test by the help of God. Come on, say, Lord, help me to make it. Through this test, help me to make it. Pound somebody and tell them, say, tell them they were neighbors. God, I feel like preaching. We gonna make it. We, 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 we. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. Somebody shout glory. Shout glory. gonna make it. Woo! Hallelujah. It's after the test. It's after the test. It's after. Not before. Good God Almighty. Lord, let, let, let me help the millennials a little bit. Can I help the millennials? God bless you. Appreciate you. Uh, amen. Miss no Normal. Miss Normal. M I S N O M E R. God bless you, baby. Say, Miss Noma. Somebody say, Miss Noma. Uh, Miss Noma. Uh, uh, it's a noun, and it serves to me a wrong or inaccurate use of a name or designation. Y'all ready for an example? Miss Noma. 
It's a, the use of, uh, inaccurate use of a name. All right, here we go. Y'all ready? Uh, morning sickness. Let me come to the women. It's a misnomer for many women, the nausea can occur anytime. I heard a little bit. The women understood that. The misnomer is morning sickness. Well, you may not get sick that morning. And the misnomer is it can occur, nausea can occur at lunchtime. Some of y'all got nausea at lunch, lunch day. It didn't happen that morning. And you thought, oh my God, I ain't going to get sick this morning. Because they said misnomer. But by 3 o'clock, boom, here it is. I thought this was morning sickness. No, this noonday sickness now. So, so the misnomer is, is an inaccurate thing, uh, Miss Emma. Amen. Go to God. Take it because this thing can happen any time of the day. Uh, that is the uh, misnomer. Amen. Go to God. Uh, can I go for broke? Somebody said go for broke, boss. My son now. What do you say to me? Man, y'all should have been on y'all feet with that. With that holler, my son. My son now! Lord to God, hallelujah. Somebody ready. Somebody ready to dance. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, since you said that, take me to James 1 and 12. I was trying to work my way through here. I don't know if I'm, a, I don't even know if I'm coming out the pulpit. Glory to God. But, but, but. The misnomer. Can I? I, I want to drop another word on 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 the millennials. Uh, go to God. James one and twelve. Do you have it? Uh, and heck of the word. Y'all ready? Eschatological. 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 The K is solid. Eschatological. God, where you at? Somebody say that. Eschatological. It's an adverb. And, and it simply means describing something, a uh, final destination of the soul. Describing the final destination of the soul. Are you ready with the scripture? Come on, one and twelve. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Come on. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Listen, after, see, you said, blessed is the man that endureth temptation. After the temptation. Good God Almighty. Then you get the best. Can you get it? Can you see it now? Read it again to help this class. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Stay right there. Blessed is the man that can endure it. Good God Almighty. Woman, we all there. You come out, you come out of the side of us. You right there. That can endure temptation. Look what God's going to do if you can endure temptation. What are you going to do? For when he is tried. When you tried, tested. Everybody going to be tried and tested. What happens? Come on. He shall receive the crown of life. Wait a minute. That's a particular crown that you going to get after you've been tried. My subject, my subject is after the test. Then you get the best. Finish that up. Which the Lord has promised to them that love him. Amen. Can I shake the house in this one on my way to my seat? Go to God. Take you. I got my house shaking there with me. Look at you see Y'all y'all still shaking. Look at the neighbor. neighbor. Be careful how you talk. Uh, look at somebody and say, be careful how you talk. Joe was careful in what he said. Amen. When they told him they curse God and die, he said, you're foolish. He was listening in the spirit. 
the three friends was there. Amen. All those days, amen. Wonder what to say. Sometimes these tests are so detrimental to glory to God, you don't, you, you don't know if you're coming or going, don't you? Uh, you, 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 don't, you ever been in that type of test? With, 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 it, it rained and it kept raining. Last week it got cold and it got colder. Some people ain't never been that cold in Georgia. Pipes busting, they didn't understand that. Everything was froze. Go to God. Thank you, Lord. Somebody test the same way. And you say, Lord, how I get in this? Don't complain. Uh, throw your hands and say, Lord, have your way. We need to practice that a, a lot. Let's practice it one more time. Say, Lord, have your way. Not my will, Lord. But let your will be done. Every time you feel a pinch, every time the devil pinch you, you ought to open your mouth and recite and put that litany into the atmosphere. Be careful now how you talk. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, life is in your mouth. Life is in your mouth. Don't curse your own self for God's sake. Jesus. That's what Pharaoh did. Pharaoh cussed he cursed a man Egypt. And not only did everybody else in Egypt firstborn die, his son died. What nobody said, you got to be careful what you say with your mouth. Life is in your mouth. Amen. I'm closing. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. What's in your mouth comes from the heart. So is a man thinking, so is it. Whatever come out your mind, especially, you know, Pastor, now when you get agitated, you know I, I stop everything I'm doing. If I'm right, whatever I'm doing. If I got my cell phone, I put it down. I'm listening to what you say. Because whatever is in there, whatever you've been thinking about, whatever you've been wanting to tell me, you're going to say it then. You've been wanting to say that. You just wait on the point of time. Or the devil's waiting, amen, to, sh to shake you. Tell it. Go to God. Thing. I'm listening because I know that comes from the heart. Come on, let well, I mean, well, you might didn't mean it, but you said it. Come on, talk to me. You got to be careful what you say. Your, what's in your mouth come from your heart. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. A -a Amen. A -a and this is, well, see, glory to God. When, when you do that, I'm reminded of a story. Amen. Praise God. Glory to God. Over in Genesis, Amen, 22, I believe, prophet. Amen. What, 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 what Abraham, I'm a boy. I'm a, I'm a boy in. Well, Abraham, amen, praise God, glory to God. A, a few times Abraham had not obeyed God. Amen. Glory to God when he was in before the man and he, and, and, and he asked who Sarah was. He said, this is my sister, he told a lie. That was his wife. But he got afraid. See, sometimes we get afraid, we'll tell a lie, won't we? Instead of telling the truth, I don't care how bad it hurt, go ahead and tell the truth. One thing about the truth, it's going to avail a lie. My God, a lie going to take you down. A lie calls you to sin. The Bible says Joe did not lie with his mouth and he didn't sin. Abraham said, hey, that's my sister. Amen, but that was really his wife. All the, now he was the father, uh, uh, amen, of nation, but the, amen, at that particular time, he got afraid. God ain't giving us the spirit of fear, but power. Somebody help me go. No. Out of somebody, you ain't got to be afraid. Who you got to be afraid? Why are you in the test? Why you ain't got to be afraid? If God be for you, who going to be against you? God, I have to be preaching this hard today. And then, amen, Abraham, old man Abraham, amen, when, when his wife, amen, came, when Sarah came to him, amen, everybody else got babies, and, amen, everybody else got babies running, amen, in the synagogue, glory to God, and, and, and she said, amen, God had already told him what he was getting ready to do, amen, what he was going to do, but she couldn't wait on God, amen, sometimes when God done told us, I'm getting ready to bless you, amen, but you put matters in your own hand, God, I feel preaching on me now, amen, praise God, and she came to Abraham and shook him. Good God and said, Listen, go into my maid. What kind of what kind of junk is this here? Go, what kind of orgy? What is this here? 
What is this going on now? Told her it was happening back then. You think they was having all just now and folk was going, amen. They was doing it back then. Going to Haggai, amen, and have a child, glory to God. Amen. She was that desperate. So folks so desperate now, they'll do anything. God don't need your help. James spoke, God bless the day. Say, God don't need no matches. He fire. He fire. He fire. Oh my himself. My God, but 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 he went in. Amen. And then when she seen that woman walking around with a belly in front of her, you know we, how y'all women, some of y'all, well, some of y'all, you know, amen, go to God, she's she going through there, amen, with, with, with Abraham baby in her belly. Amen, the devil say, I, I got you. I didn't tell you to do that. Say the devil do you? I didn't tell you to tell uh, uh, Abraham to go in the hall. Well, he did, but you, you had to obey it. Because the devil tells something don't mean you got to do it. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We got to do it. The Lord said, you got to keep the initial plan, the initial vision that God put in your spirit. Amen. The devil going to come and say, God didn't say that. That wasn't right. Glory to God. I'm going to hear what my leader got to say. Especially if they're living right. In 23, God, glory to God. God going to illuminate the real leaders and he going and he gonna fire. Yeah, I said it. Those hollers, amen, praise God. Glory to God that God done got tired. He got tired of Saul, did he? And glory to God, he said, I'm replacing you. But he was still in office and he had to slip the tip. Oh, amen, over to Jesse's house. Lord, y'all pray with me. With there, amen, because cause, cause if Saul would have known he was going to anoint somebody else king, he would have killed because he was still in charge. But he tiptoed by midnight, went over there, and finally found David and put some oil on his head. And the Bible said, the Spirit, God help me, of the Holy Ghost came on David. God will take you down here, take down one, put up somebody else. Somebody you thought would not worthy. David out there with the sheep and with the goats and, and smelling. But God said, you the man. Glory to God. Don't, don't think, amen, you, you got it all wrapped up. You got to live right to the end. You got to live right to the end. Amen. But Abraham, glory to God, even with all that, amen, praise God, when he went in and did that, he yet learned how to obey God. Amen. Can you pass the test? <laughs> Can you pass the test? Oh, good God of my. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Oh, if you ain't got the power, you better not say that if you ain't got nothing. But the devil hear you. Amen. Glory to God. But, but amen, you, you got to have a power now, amen, to walk over scoffers. Amen. The Bible say in Genesis 22, amen, amen, and verse 1, he began to talk. Amen. God told Abraham, now listen, I done gave you Isaac. I want you to take Isaac, your only son, and, and go up on the Mount Moriah on one of the mountains. I'm going to tell you where to go at. Glory to God. And the Bible say, Abraham, I don't see where your mama at nowhere this time. Amen. I don't see where he lied then. He got up and he got Abraham, he got Isaac, got the wood, got the fire, and took two of his men. Uh, and when he looked up, amen, on the third day, God help me. Amen. Praise God. A amen. He found the place that he needed to go. In verse 5, somebody say 5. In verse 5, he told his last. He told him, say, you two men stay here. Amen. While me, amen, and Isaac, my son, go yonder, offer up a sacrifice, and we coming back. It's in your mouth. You got to open your mouth and speak those things that are not in the world. Life is in your mouth. It's time to speak some things. Too long we done died in God. You need to walk to the refrigerator. Walk to your closet. Take all your bills out and speak over your mouth. Speak over your children. Lord, I know you're going to say it, but you're, I don't care how they live it. You got to go in there and with war with the devil. Sometimes you got to walk in the room. Make sure you got some power, though, and tell the devil enough is enough. Get God Almighty. Take your hands off my children. Take your hand off my babies. Take your hand off my home. Take your hand. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, say yeah, it's after the test, did you 
you gonna get the best. You gonna get the best. You gonna get the best. On oh, this way up the mountain, Lord have mercy. Amen. This sun open up. Amen. Say, what meant, Father? I see the fire. I, I see the wood. But where is where the sacrifice? The Lord have mercy. Abraham opened his mouth and spoke into the atmosphere and said, the good Lord, he going to provide a sacrifice. I come with instructions. Jehovah Jireh, my God will supply. My God will make a way out of no way. Won't it do it? Won't it pick you up? On solid ground, won't he do it? It's after the test. It's after, after you've suffered a while. God be up, come in and pick you up. God will come in and turn you around. He got a stick ready. Can I get a witness? God get ready. To turn it around. He get ready to fix it. Turn your midnight into daylight. Changing dollars to twenties. Changing twenties to hundreds. Get ready. God is in your mouth. Speak. Open your mouth and prophesy. Open your mouth. Help me praise him out here. It's 2023. Give me, give me four or five people out here. Help me praise God. Come on. Come on with. Come on and praise him. It's after the test. It's after the test. Then you get the best. You ought to praise him. Lord, have mercy. Uh, uh, hallelujah. I see my mama now. Back in Salem, seeing me. I will see her on Sundays. Ella Wilcock, you might have to help me with this one. But she will come out and say, I got a new home over in Zion. And it's Oh, I got a new home over in Zion. Somebody help me say it.
you. This has been another revival. Fire. And it's 